Dr. John Chow, the inventor of the Pinot Technique, which you know is scalpel free and suture free. I want to share with you a case that we did on this beautiful patient back in February 17, 2021. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. This is the before. We did upper and lower arch all at the same time. 14 teeth on the top, 14 teeth on the bottom. I think it took, it took us a couple hours. Now, let's set the goal for this. When we have lower, lower teeth like this with dark triangles and severe recession, we don't expect to have coverage of the roots very much. But what we're basically aiming for is this very interesting term called widening the zone of attached gingiva. The very little attached gingiva here, 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 here. And so our goal for the degree for the procedure, uh, which is again scalpel free, suture free, would be to thicken the gums here to prevent further recession. All right, now nearly exactly a year later, we have this situation. Now let's go to the before and after. Look at the amount of fraction here, 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 here. The gum line was now look, look at the cuspid. Cuspid over here and cuspid over here. Look how far it was up there, how far down the gums are. And look at this eye tooth here. Eye tooth lateral, look at number 10, number 11. And look at number 12 and 13 in that area. They were all have improved tremendously with thicker keratinized tissue. Now let's look at the lowers before, after. Now look at the lowers here, 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 here. And of course we have the class three area for the lost papilla. And we'll talk about what our goal is in this area here. Now over here, there, there, there were a lot of fillings that was that were taken out, even though it doesn't look so, look so bad here. But you'll see after we're done, how far up the gums have come because we remove all the fillings when we do this kind of case. See how lowers are much further up than it was before. Now remember how I told you we're gonna, we were going to remove the fillings here? The fillings have been removed and they're much further up. Now, as I told you before, uh, we're not going to be looking at trying to cover up the roots as much as we are trying to thicken the band of attached gingiva here. We see that we see every sign that the uh, gingiva is much thickened. So we did get a widened zone of attached in gingiva. Now the patient is going to go back to the wonderful referring dentist and uh, he will then do cosmetic bonding here and we'll have an even better looking case than we have uh, even now. So what was the experience like for you to do the whole mouth all the same time? I won't lie, it was uncomfortable, but not necessarily painful. I didn't end up taking any pain medications afterwards. I Good. only yeah. just slept. I mean, there were a few days where I was uncomfortable sure. and not, mm -hmm. not eating hard food. 28 teeth all the same time. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> look at the beautiful smile. Look at that. That's so the beautiful <laughs> Now talk, talk to me about the smile in terms of funny. How yeah, you for you. I definitely um, was self-conscious about my smile. I was aware of how much recession I had, and um, that has completely changed. I feel like I don't think about smiling anymore. Um, I'm looking forward to having my fillings restored. I think it's going to look even better. So I'm really, I'm very happy with the result. So, so you feel like you can smile differently, more natural now? Yes. And the other thing I noticed is that before I was getting a lot of food stuck between my teeth, yeah, especially yeah. in the back, and that doesn't happen at all anymore. Just a lot more comfortable. I don't. I, I immediately felt like I had, would have to brush and floss my teeth before, and mm -hmm. now. I can just rinse my mouth and I'm mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, so, so the, the food trapping That's a big went away. difference, yeah. So give us a big smile now. Yeah. Isn't that great? Look at that. And uh, such a beautiful smile to begin with. And now the recession's gone. And she happens to have a high smile line. So this is a perfect case to illustrate the, um, the advantages of the scalpel-free, sushi-free technique of doing a smile makeover, basically. Emotionally elated or I did. The fact Certainly, that you don't have to worry about that anymore. Yes. I I had a I had fear of losing my teeth and I don't feel that way now. So mm. that's huge. To be able to smile <laughs> the way you do now, isn't that great? It gives you a lot of satisfaction. Now the reason we're dwelling on this so much is that you can also expect your patients when you do pinhole to get the same results as I did. Now how nice it is to take a smile like this, such a wonderful patient and bring it over here, and where she can smile so wonderfully well, add a touch of happiness to people's lives, okay? And this is what it's all about. Thank you for joining us.